Got to start off with Darkness Trophies 45 squat. This dude blasted through the progression and barely made any stops from 400 to 485. Uh, he hasn't uploaded a miss groove that he's got stapled on yet of a good squat morning type of squat. This one he almost lost and recovered with a grind and then proceeded to have an Ivan Makarov anadrol nosebleed all over the fucking gym. <laughs> lost three pints of blood, almost died. Glad you're still with us, bro. We're going to throw in his 370 bench here. I think it's good that he got it from multiple angles. Uh, we're going to talk about it a little bit more at the end of the video. But got to show both angles. And then, of course, his 545 deadlift. I'm not going to count that ugly fucking bump and grind shit because it just looks like the most intense pain a human being has ever endured when he deadlifts. Flip side of the coin, West Side Boy, 585. I think this video was titled, Just Shut the Fuck Up, Here's Your Six Plate Deadlift, Everyone. <laughs> Do the math, it's 345s, 235s, 225s, a 10 and a 5 on each side. And he didn't count the clips. He could have counted the clips, but he didn't count the clips. <laughs> and just powerful over the knee, makes it look like nothing. Uh, not sure which squat to use. So I'm just going to throw in the dead stop, reverse grip, 335 bench press. Who else is doing this variation? Let me ask you, who's even doing the dead stop bench press with the pins set so low that it's actually sunk into their chest and reverse grip 335? So he was doing some crazy shit with the floor press, but this is, there's nothing to compare this to. Nobody else is doing this lift. <laughs> so uh, it it's nuts to me. But not as insane as my favorite lift of the entire year. There's no one who can convince me this stone is even an ounce lighter than 201 kilograms. Oh my god. We've got to stop and unpack this lift for a minute because I know you guys have been out there, tried to pick up a big ass log, big ass landscaping rock, or other boulder on the trail. Maybe you were successful. Was that stone bigger than your torso? I mean, I've lapped some logs that were in excess of 300 pounds. I've done it with barrels, tank calibration weights, stumps, but the hard way? Nah. This is an unusual level of strength, and we're going to have to watch it again because there's something extra satisfying to me about the feats of strength type of lifts. Here he is, setting up, taking perfect position. Speed off the ground. He could have it. Oh, my God. Meteor-sized hole in the dirt. <laughs> Excellent. And a 225-pound strict overhead press to finish it out before we move on to... A guy I kind of forgot was in the competition because he quit uploading to the hashtag, but Jesse Wysong, who Darkness Trophies has challenged first to 400, bro. And since that dude doesn't watch anybody else's videos, I guess, he doesn't realize this was three months ago, 365 pounds. And he's not utilizing the typical trick of the lighter power lifter to move the heavier weights. That would be bitching up on the range of motion and using the smaller limb length to take advantage of improved leverages. Nah, the dude feels comfortable underneath the bar. You can tell by the way his upper body is dug into the bench behind his shoulders, full retraction. His legs are just a counterbalance. Look at that. In stark contrast to the DT, I'm 300 pounds, too much pre-workout, Mark Steubing start, thrust it forward, no shoulder stability, boing, <laughs> and then, oh, thrust at the end too. Double the weight, half the control. Steubing start, boing, totally at the mercy of the weight. My song's in control the whole time. Hell, I have time for a pause and practically finish at the same time. There are sacrifices that you can make to push more weight, but it should never be all of your stability. It's typically a bad idea, and this is where we go back and forth a lot because it's just too much weight, man. And speaking of too much, need to upgrade from the Schmedium t-shirt, bruh. <laughs> and I don't understand the lucky ball cap thing. A lot of guys do it, I don't get it. You know we gotta do this comparison. Malanga method 375 for a double doesn't even slow down till the last inch while well, I'm ranting about shit I don't understand like the ball cap guys you've got to put your legs in the bench press 
it's half the lift. And before I talk too much shit on it, quick elbow turn. But dude's ass never comes off the bench. Give him that. But there's no way in hell that Dean is heavier than this dude. And yet, going for a double. Still really almost no slowdown until the last three inches of the lift. And he does some unconventional liftings with the skull crushers. Look at this. Don't wrinkle up that shirt, bro. <laughs> the way this dude unracks the bar for the shoulder press, I would snap every fiber of my rotator cuff doing this. And dude is just so thick in his upper body that uh, I'm, I'm not going to say anything about it because it clearly doesn't look painful or anything. 285. I haven't seen anybody else moving this kind of weight overhead, and it's no wonder he's got the strongest bench press out of uh, everyone that I can think of. And I follow 30 guys who do powerlifting, so I'm going to trim it up for the repeat, but just so you get the full experience of the lift here, uh, below the collarbone start, it just does not get stricter than that. <laughs> so, whoop. And I had to stabilize it overhead for a minute just to show he got it. F fucking stabilize it overhead for an eternity. These negatives, man. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, I don't know anybody else who's doing that wide either. In case there was any doubt, he's rocking the jersey. Need to rename it to New Yoked. Fuck. Deficits start to fully overhead, and then the negative takes almost 25 fucking seconds. So I'm going to use it as a way to do an outro for this video. Uh, I know he's not in the three lifts competition. There's actually a couple guys that I could tag in it, but I don't want to make the video too damn long. I just wanted to showcase a couple of the guys' lifts that really have stuck with me. And this is definitely one of them. So... Hope you guys are training strong. Thanks for watching.